with this Infinigrate technology, you're gonna have a product that's proven to last three times longer than raw carbon or other competitors' paddles based on these test results. I am the project manager for the R&D department here at Selkirk Sport. And today I will be showing you guys the uh, durability test that we do for our Infinigrate coating. It is a uh, abrasion test to uh, test the uh, abrasion wear on our coating compared to uh, other products. And how this test procedure goes is we'll start with a new sample and then we'll get the surface roughness on the new substrate. And then we'll go in 25 cycle increments on our Tabor abrasion machine. And every 25 cycles, we'll come back to the profilometer and get surface roughness data. This is our Tabor abrasion test machine. What this machine does is it will abrade away the substrate with the certain ab abrasion wheel. We're using a CS10 abrasion wheel for this test and 250 grams of weight on each arm. And uh, what this has done is used the uh, rotational motion from this fixture to spin these abrading wheels and abrade the surface. We'll then proceed to use our Kiant's digital uh, profilometer to analyze our sample. We can see the peaks and troughs of the infinigrate coating after 25 cycles of wear. What we're looking at here is the abrasion wear of a generic uh, raw carbon paddle. And this is in its new state. After we cut the sample, we put it on the profilometer and got this imaging. And you can see these red pointed peaks here. This is gonna be like its max surface roughness peaks. And we can see just after 25 cycles on the uh, Tabor abrasion machine, you can see a drastic reduction in uh, surface roughness. And after 50 cycles, which is this image right here, we're getting a negligible surface roughness and it's gone smooth. So this is the point where if you keep running the test, it's not gonna change. This is the surface roughness from the uh, abrasion wheel. And here we have the Infinigrate coated paddle. This one starts to plateau after 150 cycles on the Tabor abrasion machine. And you can see the diminishing of the red peak slowly as it starts to abrade. This is 50 cycles on the Tabor abrasion machine compared to the raw carbon 50 cycles abraded. And as you can see, it holds its surface roughness three times better than the raw carbon substrate. When you use our Infinigrate coating, you're gonna have a coating that's just as durable as the substrate and components that make this paddle. So you're not gonna have to buy paddles as frequent as possible. This thing's gonna last you a while. 